According to Gartner, this year, 2020, is the year we would have more conversations with bots than our spouse. Well, I'm doomed because I don't have a spouse. And you? Luckily, AI hasn't taken over our life yet, but chatbots and virtual agents are some of the ways that AI is changing digital marketing. Let's think about this. Why would companies want to adopt AI? Well, companies are not charities, so they exist for just one reason, to make money. Even nonprofit organizations aiming to save the world need to balance their books. So for companies to adopt AI, there must be a very good reason. It will either help them make money or save money. Data is the lifeline of AI and AI won't work without data. I'll be using AI or artificial intelligence as an umbrella term which includes machine learning and deep learning. Deep learning is a machine learning technique using large amounts of data to train complex deep neural networks. Deep neural networks are capable of achieving human level accuracy for many tasks, but they are hungry for data. Examples of deep neural networks and deep learning in everyday lives? Well, Amazon recommendations, social media algorithms, and everyone's favorite, facial recognition. For security, of course. Because AI needs data, the adoption will probably first take place in where there's data and probably money too. Hmm, where can we find both data and money? One of such business areas is the front line of the business, sales and marketing. Because these departments have been collecting customer data and have a direct impact on revenue. So this is where the money and the data is. They need to understand customers and predict customer behaviors better in order to better serve the customers. For example, in a recent interview, the head of product and R&D of Spotify, Gustav Gustav, okay, I'm not gonna pretend I speak Swedish and then I butcher his name, but this guy mentioned that they can predict which podcast the listeners would possibly like based on their music taste. That leads us to the top three ways AI impacts digital marketing. Number one, customer behavior prediction and personalized user experience. Customer behavior prediction? That sounds fancy, but it's nothing new. The more we use a digital product or service, the more data the service provider has on us. Let's not turn this into another episode of The Social Dilemma, but this is basically advanced customer segmentation and attribution in digital marketing language. Attribution tools allow you to see what drove customer X to do Y. There's no magic once you see what's under the hood, but how you use these tools and how you cluster the data makes a difference. For example, it's actually impressive how Spotify can make a prediction of the listener's podcast preference just based on their music taste. And you might have experienced this. Just when you're about to click the X to exit out a site, you suddenly get a pop-up window and says, wait, here's a 20% coupon for you because we love you and you're so special, please stay and you're more likely to go through with the purchase because of that. And that's AI detecting the user's intent to exit the site and is trying to prevent that. Number two, programmatic advertising. If you're in the business of SEM, you probably already know that AI is taking care of the ad bidding on a massive scale. In digital marketing language, AI is helping you best leverage your ad spend and optimizes your ROI. I know, I hate this language too. And in plain English, AI will help you find the best way to spend your money. Just tell the AI your budget and criteria. Number three, AI for content creation. This is probably one of the only things I'm excited about in terms of AI and marketing because it's exciting and a bit scary. Websites like AI Writer have been around so you can type in a keyword or a phrase as a prompt and it will generate an article for you. It's not bad but it's not amazing either. I tried to use AI Writer to write a script for my YouTube videos but it wasn't amazing so it was kind of a relief and I wrote it myself. Google's OpenAI recently developed GPT-3, a gigantic language model that can generate human-like text. 
It can do some simple math and some reasoning as well. It's not open to the public yet, but I find the ability of doing math kind of amazing because it was trained with only text, not numbers. So basically GPT-3 learned math by reading English. People who had early access to GPT-3 were amazed by the content that GPT-3 had generated because it was realistic. So maybe AI will be writing the script soon and I'll just be a robot acting out. AI is also used to generate music and sometimes it's difficult to tell which piece was made by AI and which piece was made by humans. Finally, I want to point out, just because they say there's AI inside doesn't mean that there is AI inside. A 2019 survey showed that about 40% of the EU AI startups actually don't have AI in their solutions. A lot of vendors want to capitalize the buzz of AI and want to sell you the snake oil, so please do your homework before buying any AI solutions.